Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am so excited about today's video because I am sharing all of these summer outfits that I've been wearing lately that I've just been loving. I feel like I'm in a bit of a fashion renaissance at the moment. I'm really enjoying playing with clothing and color and shape and silhouette. So I think there's really something here for everybody. There's slightly masculine, edgy, there's feminine, there's elevated neutrals, as well as some fun pops of color that I've been experimenting with. So let's just get right into the outfits. The first outfit that I'm showing you is a go-to outfit for me lately. As my base layers, I'm wearing the Aritzia Sculpt Knit Tank in the square neck version. And you're going to see me style this in a few different ways throughout this video. My shorts are the Abercrombie Linen Pull-On Shorts. They are so comfortable. They are double lined, so you don't see through them, although I do like to wear nude underwear just to be on the safe side. They are high-waisted, but I love them because they're not too short. They hit me at the perfect spot. If you do want a more casual fit, I would size up in these. I took my true size, which is a small. On top of that, I have the Pixie Market striped shirt, and I have been wearing this shirt non-stop. I love the thick stripe. There's something especially kind of summery and I don't know, breezy. <laughs> Smidge, Smidge is in here. Do you need something? It feels like a step up from being a simple shirt, but it's also very wearable and it goes with every kind of neutral shade that you could imagine. I threw in my Dior sunglasses. These are like seven or eight years old, so I'll try to link something similar below, but any simple black pair of sunglasses would be great. My white fisherman sandals, I have been loving and wearing nonstop. They are so comfortable. These are from a brand called Sea Safar. I purchased them in Korea. They are available online and I will link them below. They are a smaller Korean designer, but there are a lot of dupes going around these days. Everyone seems to be coming out with a fisherman sandals, so I will link some alternatives below too. To accessorize, I paired this with the Acne Misubi bag. This is a newer addition to my closet and it's a bag that I've had my eye on for a really long time. I am happy to report that it is as beautiful in quality as I had hoped it would be. You can wear it crossbody or as a top handle or on your shoulder the way that I did and I think the wide strap on this bag accentuates the stripes on the shirt. For a slightly more feminine version of this outfit, I added a button-up shirt from Abercrombie. This is their poplin shirt and it's an oversized fit. I love this shirt. I actually have it in a couple of different prints that you'll see throughout this video. I think this stripe is a little bit softer, a little bit girlier, but it still has that kind of masculine oversized edge. And I paired it with my Birkenstock Boston clogs. These are in the shade clay, which I think are only available on the Birkenstocks website. But I love these because they're perfectly neutral. They're neither too khaki or taupe. They're just a really beautiful kind of monochrome beige tone. Keeping with the theme of elevated neutrals, I have this outfit, which I have been wearing nonstop and I wore a lot, especially when I was traveling in Korea. So on top, I have that sculpt knit tank again. You can see how well it fits and hugs the body. I actually don't wear a bra with this. I do wear nipple covers and I will link my favorite ones below because they are truly undetectable. For pants, I have the Aritzia Effortless Linen Pants. This is the linen version of their best-selling effortless pant. Mine are also a little bit big for me around the waist, but I kind of like that for this look. I feel like it adds to the slightly undone vibe of this outfit. I'm wearing my Tiva Joya sandals. They don't look like Tivas, like they don't look like an athletic shoe, but they have all of the arch support and all of the bounce that you would hope for from Tivas. So they go with everything. They can be dressed up or dressed down and I just can't 
believe how comfortable they are. They're also $40, so I think this is the kind of sandal that everybody needs. I accessorized this with my black Gaddy bag, and this is from a brand called Le Arbonne. They're a Korean designer, and they're available on W Concept in the US, so I will link all of that along with everything else below. This is such a beautiful, high quality bag. I really love the thick strap in the front. It carries a lot while still having a rather slim profile underneath the shoulder. And the thing I can't get over is how lightweight the bag is. Despite it being a medium to large size bag, it weighs very little. So I have carried this around all day long when I've been traveling and sightseeing and I haven't found it to be uncomfortable or heavy at all. The leather is also somehow very scratch resistant, even though it's a relatively smooth leather. I've carried this on the plane, in cars, on the train, and I haven't had a scratch at all. This is also an outfit you can easily layer up if it gets a little bit breezier in the evenings, so I paired it here with an oversized white shirt. This is the white version of the Abercrombie Poplin shirt I mentioned earlier, and I love how it pairs with the trousers. It gives you that slightly masculine edge, while still being undone in that cool girl kind of way. And I also paired this with my white leather high top Converse. I think it just ties together that black and white really nicely. And I like that pop of white peeking out from under the trouser. Moving into something more feminine, less structured, very undone, I have this beautiful rust-colored linen maxi dress that I got from Cause last year. I don't know if it's still around, but linen dresses seem to be everywhere these days, so I will definitely try to link something similar below. I love the undone breeziness of this dress, and I especially love it on very hot days because it almost feels like I have nothing on. I'm wearing my Tevas again with this dress because I wanted a strap sandals, something that was a little bit more minimal so that the attention is really on the dress itself. And I've paired this with my Loewe basket bag, which I think goes with the warm tones of this dress and the look overall. I threw on my tortoise cat eye sunglasses. These are from Hill House. I also have them in black and I love them. They're just a really fun pair of sunglasses to wear and add a little bit of interest to any look. This is also something I would totally wear on vacation for a beach day if you're spending some time by the pool. And it's also very comfortable because the Tevas are super easy to walk in and I've walked over 10,000 steps easily in those sandals and had no issues whatsoever. For accessories, I'm wearing my Dean Davidson birthstone pendant. The emerald is not actually my birthstone, but I just really love the color of it. And I think it draws some of the attention up to the neckline and balances out the billowy silhouette of this dress. For something a little bit sexier, I have been loving this Pixie Market linen dress. I just got it in and I actually wore this exact outfit earlier this weekend for a day date. We went out to a museum, we walked around some bookstores and we went out to eat. So I paired the dress with my Tevas so that I could be really comfortable. And I think you can really see here how easily the Teva sandals can be dressed up for an outfit like this. I also like that the strappiness of the sandal mirrors the straps on the the dress, I feel like there's some nice balance there. And I paired this with my LM Raisin Raffia bag, which I think breaks up the black of this outfit and makes it feel a little bit more summery. I accessorized with these really cute Huggies that I got from Studs West Hollywood. They're mismatched shells, so there's one green shell and one gold shell, and I feel like that's kind of a playful way to play with a little bit of color. I wanted to show you how you could dress up this outfit for a more formal occasion. So I paired this dress with my clear acrylic block heels. I love this shoe because first of all, they're really comfortable to walk in, but also they really elongate the leg. For a fun, pop of summer color, I added my Arbonne Kobe bag, and this is in this really beautiful light lime green. And it is leather, but it's this kind of crackled leather that reminds me of a sort of vintage 60s kind of leather. And I also paired that with my Gentle Monster Crella sunglasses. These are super lightweight, and they're this really beautiful acrylic yellow frame. And I think they go really well with the Kobe bag, even though they're not exactly green, they play off of each other really
really well. And then I added a bit of sparkle with these Huggies that I received from Ready Made Jewelry. I wanted to stay with a mismatching jewelry theme and you can purchase the different jewels on their website and mix and match with the Huggies. So I picked out this emerald green and this yellow pear cut. And I think these are really fun because they play with the green and yellow of the accessories in this look. I have another really fun, flirty, feminine outfit that I would wear for a date night. I've worn this to a few different dinners and events. This is a gray puff sleeve baby doll dress that I picked up while I was in Korea. I will definitely try to link something below because obviously the silhouette is something we see a lot. And it's generally a silhouette that I stay away from because I don't really wear really girly outfits like this but I really like this paired with the white fisherman sandals. I really like how the harder, more masculine square shape of the sandal plays off of the bubbly and girly silhouette of the dress. I accessorized this again with the green Kobe bag. I just think the color with the gray is really fun and a little bit edgy. And I added my gentle monster sunglasses again because I love the way these two accessories complement each other. Moving into something much more more casual. This is the kind of outfit that I would wear on the weekend. I would wear to the farmer's market, just running errands. So I have my oversized white shirt and I paired it with a bralette from Parade. I love the way that that little pop of color peeks through the white. I feel like it gives a little bit of interest to what is otherwise a pretty masculine or boyish look. And then I'm wearing one of my favorite pairs of shorts. These are the Parker shorts from A Goldie. Mine happen to be a couple of sizes too big for me at this point, but I actually kind of like that because they're so comfortable and worn in, although I am considering picking these up in a smaller size. I'm wearing my Birkenstock clogs again, as well as my Loewe basket bag, and this is definitely the kind of outfit that I would wear to the farmer's market or just to run some errands in because it's so comfortable and the bag is big enough to take if you're going to do a little bit of shopping around town. Another version of this outfit is the more black and white version. I have a pair of puffy leather black Birkenstocks here that I think were a collab that they did from last year, but there are definitely similar styles that I will link below. And I also pair this with my black shoulder bag and the black sunglasses. Another alternative that I think is really fun are my new Gia Borghini yellow slides. These were 100% inspired by my friend Sandra on YouTube. I 100% blame you, Sandra, but I love them. They are that exaggerated, puffy leather slide shape that we're seeing a lot, but there was something just so happy about this color that they were really calling me in. They're a really fun way to dress up this look. This outfit is definitely the funkiest of all of the outfits you're going to see. I'm wearing my one shoulder Aritzia sculpt tank. I paired that with my A Goldie balloon jeans and I love these jeans. I know they're not for everybody, but I just think the shape is so interesting and exaggerated without overwhelming my five foot three and a half frame. I've paired these here with what is perhaps the most controversial item in this video. These are my, I love you so much, tabby sneakers. They are amazing. They have this beautiful stretch to them and this is the white pair with a bit of metallic sheen and obviously they have the tabby shape. These slide onto your feet so easily and I really can't explain to you how comfortable these are. They really move with the foot and they're also machine washable. To accessorize, I added my Calpac Luca bag. This is in the shade Celery. I told you I'm having a moment with green right now. Green is having a moment in fashion right now and I love it all. This is a really great crossbody bag. It has an adjustable strap and it's also made by Calpac. So it is very thoughtfully designed. It holds a ton of stuff. It also comes in many, many colors from neutrals to bright colors. And then of course I had to add my gentle monster sunglasses here because they go with the bag so well. I know this outfit might not be for everyone, but I feel very much myself in it. And I love the way that this outfit plays with silhouettes and exaggerated shapes and a little bit of geometry as well as color blocking. I just think it's a really fun way to try something different. So those are all of the summer outfits that I've been loving that I've been excited to wear. And I hope you enjoyed. This was definitely a different kind of video for me, but 
It's one I've been wanting to do for a long time. And so I'd love to hear your feedback. If there's any other kinds of fashion videos you'd like to see from me, let me know in the comments and I'll see you in the next one.